Today we're making ponios. They're just little ponytail holders that you can put in your daughter's hair and they're super adorable and they're super easy. And I've made several in the past. This is one for her cheerleading team little sister. This is one in the Girl Scout colors that I did. This was another one that I made because I just had a lot of this different colors and I wanted to have cool ones. Anyway, they look awesome in hair and everywhere you go you're going to get compliments. The key to making these ponios is lots of different kinds of ribbon. You can pick this stuff up on sale at Hobby Lobby. I'm not terribly concerned with super fancy quality ribbon because you're just using a tiny bit of it. A lot of this is even, I picked up the Christmas ribbon at Michael's. We're going to take each piece of ribbon and you're going to stretch it out. This part's really up to you, how long you want it to be. I have, my daughter has a lot of hair, so I usually go between... 12 and 15 inches but you can go as short as about 10 and these will still be really cute just remember that they're going to fold in half so if it's 12 inches long the the ribbon will only dangle for six inches you're going to take all your ribbons and you're going to cut them i like to go in ahead and cut the angles right now so that i don't have to worry about doing it later i'm going to cut the rest of my ribbon and i'll be back in a minute it's easy to heat still You'll just take your ribbon and run the lighter across it just real quick. Check it, make sure. And you'll just do that to all of the rest of your ribbon. It's easier to seal your ends now before you put it all together. Now, some of your ribbon, like this super cool silver stuff or whatever, is not going to heat seal. So I just take like a regular bottle of nail polish. So you'll just dab it on just like that. And your ends are sealed. So the key here is variety. You want different cuts at the ends of your ribbons. You want different kinds of ribbon. It doesn't really matter. You just want everything to be different and fun. That's the best part of this is that you're not trying to do like a uniform exactly even bow. Once you've cut all your ribbon, it's time to do the laying out part. So you'll kind of just scoot everything up to the side like that. And then I always start with the biggest ribbon that I have first. If you have several that are large, then you can, you, can, you can do different ones. But that one I start with. And that one goes straight, just like that. And then I just start choosing ribbons. And I start laying them out in an X shape on top of the other ribbons. And then I'll finish this. And you just kind of pick another ribbon lay it over and you're just going to basically make a giant asterisk out of ribbon so you can pretty much lay it out any way you want to i do suggest that if you're making two of these for pigtails you do this at the same time so that they look the same i've done it where i've tried to copy myself and that's really hard to do and then the next step is optional but um if you're going to be if your daughter's going to be running or jumping or playing a bunch in these ribbons then i suggest you use the sewing machine. For the next step, you're going to find the center of your ribbon and you're going to pick it up by that and bring it over to a sewing machine. And we're just going to sew basically straight through all these ribbons. So here you have your big ribbon pile and your sewing machine and you're just going to let it sew. Make sure you're feeding all the ribbons into it. If you have a reverse, reverse back over it a few times. So when you're done, you'll have a seam that just goes up the middle and you're kind of starting to see the bow forming. Don't forget to trim these loose edges. I always forget and then I have to trim them after I've made the bow. For the next part, we're gonna use a zip tie. That's this thing. Um, if you've never seen one of these before, you can buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. They have them in like these big giant containers. Part of what we're going to do here though is we're gonna, before we put the zip tie on, we're going to fold this bow up to kind of give it like a memory of where it's going to hit. So kind of fold your bow in the shape that you want it to be. So like that's how I want my middle, like a little sandwich hot dog kind of thing right there. I'm going to take the zip tie like this. And I'm going to wrap it around my bow like this. Shove it through itself. I'm going to pull. 
you're going to kind of use the line of where you see. I told you guys I always forget one. You're going to use the line of where you sewed to kind of bring that in. And then you'll just pull it tight. And that's why you can skip the sewing because the zip tie will hold it, especially if you use pliers. You just have like some little needle nose pliers here like this that I just take. You just pull like that. And then you'll flip this over. And you can use scissors. I always use the other. I have a thing on my pliers that'll just cut that right off. But it's just plastic, so scissors will work. So it looks like that. And that'll be on the back of your bow. Now it's time to hot glue the thing, the ponytail holder on. And you're going to hot glue it down here to the bottom. Now, while that's sitting, you're going to make the little knot that goes around. And I'm going to choose black just because that's a good color to choose to do this. You're going to take this. I'm going to cut off eh, about four inches. It's not an exact science. You don't want the angles, though. You're going to heat seal your ends real quick, just like that. And then you're going to take it, tie it in a little knot. You don't have to tie it in a knot. I just think the knot is really cute. You can do it any way you want. So there you have your little knot. That's going to be the center, the top part of your ponytail holder. You'll take your hot glue gun. You'll do the dab right here on top first. And the reason you do that is because you want the knot to land in the center on top like that. Then you'll Flip it over. Make sure it holds. You flip it over to the back right here. And the first side you're going to cover up is the side that has the little zip tie. And then you'll do the same thing over here. You don't need a ton, but you need enough to hold it. When you're finished, flip it over. You have an adorable ponytail holder.